This is a sample exercise which actually concerned on one of the postulates in our module, specifically the segment addition postulate. After learning the distance between two different points, there are also instances wherein we don't have the value for the points or the coordinates of the points, but we do have the measurements or the lengths by the line of the line segments combining those two those points or endpoints. Just like this. We are given here that this segment here, where uh, just like this, we are given here with three different points, L, M, and N, and they are said to be collinear, meaning they lie on the same line. That would mean it's not just L, M is, that is straight. It's not just M, N that is straight, but it's the three of them lie on the straight line. By segment addition postulate, it tells us that the measurement for line segment LM, which is represented by 2x, plus the measurement or the length of line, of line segment MN, which is represented by x plus 10, is equal to the longest line segment here, which is a line segment bounded by L and N. And that is our concern here. We are given if LN meaning the measurement of line segment LN is equal to 37, we are asked to solve the value of the variable X. We could actually make this line segment true and then later on determine the specific lengths of the two line segments here, smaller line segments rather. So to do this, we are going to use here the segment addition postulate, which tells us that the sum of the smaller segments is equal to this, the, the length of the longest seg line, uh, line segment. But this is only, I'd like to emphasize this one, we can only use the segment addition postulate if we have the consideration that the points are collinear. If the points are non-collinear, we cannot use here the segment addition postulate. Because again, the first condition in the segment addition postulate is that the, if three points are collinear. So let's try to apply now the postulate here. That would mean the measurement of LM plus the measurement of line segment MN must be equal to the line, measurement of line segment LN because of segment addition postulate. We will use this equation to solve for x and later on to solve for the measurement of each of the smaller line segments. Let us substitute. You have 2x for lm represented here, and then you have x plus 10. So you plus x plus 10. Sorry for that. Must be equal to given ln, which is 37. Aside from uh, the consideration that the three points should be collinear, we could only solve this if we do have the given for the last, okay? Regardless of whether this is actually a constant or also in algebraic form, as long as we do have the given here, we could easily solve this. To do this one, we just need to apply the properties of equality. So you have here 2x plus x becomes 3x plus 10 is equal to 37. And we solve for x by subtracting both sides by 10. And then we have 3x is equal to 37 minus 10, that's zero already, is 27. And divide both sides by three. Cancel that out. So x could actually be equal to 27 over 3, which is 9. This should be the value of x. But then again, we will try to so check them later. Let's try to substitute this value for x. Solve for lm and mn, as they are represented by an algebraic expression containing variable x, we can just simply substitute here the value for that one. So lm is equal to 2x. Simply substitute, you have 2 times 9. And 2 times 9 is 18. So this should be the measurement of LM.
But then again, we are not yet sure because we are, have not checked it. We will check it together as we solve for MN here. So MN, sorry, that's MN is equal to X plus 10. So we have here 9 as the value of X plus 10. MN is 19. But since we need to be sure whether our answers are correct or not, we could always check it using the given statement here. We need to satisfy this given statement created by the segment addition postulate using the values here and the given. If we could satisfy the equation, definitely the value for x here is correct and all the rest of the solutions will always be correct. So let us copy it here, lm plus mn should be equal to ln. This is already the checking portion. So we use here the value 18 plus 19 must be equal to 37, question mark still, because we are just checking. And then let's show that the two sides will be equal. 18 plus 19 is 37. Here is also 37. Since both sides now are equal, then we are now assured that the result for x, which is 9, and the given values here for lm and mn are correct. So this is how we do it. We just make sure of the consideration that the point should be collinear. And this notation here from the segment addition postulate will be followed. So use this learning as we are as you are going to prepare for assessment soon goodbye everyone